What's up, Internet? Checking out two sibling cases from Deep Cool. The CG540 is the glass front panel sibling, and the CG560 is the mesh front panel sibling. Now, you hear mesh and you think that's got to have better cooling. Actually, I was surprised by the results of our testing. Pero bago nun, you should know that Deep Cool sent us these items for review but had no say in what we had to say about them. Both of these cases have the Deep Cool signature features. One, good price point, and two, good value for that price point. The price is relatively cheap, but the case still feels sturdy. Hindi parang lata when you wrap on the sides of the case. Design-wise, they are very similar to Deep Cool's previous cases like the Matrex 55. And if you built in other Deep Cool cases in the past, you'll feel right at home here with the mesh filter on top, magnetic, and bottom not magnetic. PSU shroud, grommets for cable routing, and the layout are all pretty straightforward. The front is removable in case you want to swap out the included fan or you just want more access space. You will need to remove the front panel if you want to get the front air filter. Speaking of fans, both cases come with three 120mm ARGB fans and one 140mm fan in the back. The 140mm fan is a nice touch. Some other cases, nabibitin ka dun sa exhaust. But Deepcool has your back for the back of the case right out of the box. I wish though they included ARGB fans for Deepcool's excellent CF120 Plus line with the added light bleed from the additional cutouts in the fan frame, but the accompanying fans are bright and get the job done. Beginner builders do get confused sometimes hooking up the RGB that comes with the case, so do take your time and trace and plug those wires properly. These are very roomy cases, so you don't need to worry about compatibility issues with top-of-the-line components. The cases fit EATX MOBOs, 360mm RAD AIOs, GPUs 380mm long, and CPU coolers with a max height of 175mm. These are all very generous tolerances and I can't think of any mainstream component which would not fit in any of these cases. So ano ba yung pagkaiba nila? The CG540 has a glass front which has a cross field design imprinted on it. This diffuses and cuts up the RGB light coming from the case. I've noticed the design trend now is to diffuse RGB instead of having it shine straight out. The CG560 is exactly the same as the 540 except it comes with a mesh front panel meaning better airflow for your hot 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 CPU and GPU. At least that's what I thought but it was a different story in our testing. On both cases, the CPU temp on idle was 33 degrees for CPU and for the GPU, it was 1 degree higher on the CG540 non-mesh. On load, the CPU was 1 degree hotter in the CG540 non-mesh at 52 degrees versus 51 degrees in the CG560 mesh. Same story for the GPU. It was 1 degree hotter on load in the CG540 non-mesh at 76 degrees versus 75 degrees in the CG560 mesh. So actually very little difference in temperature between the two cases. This is a testament to the side air vents in the front of each case, which I guess allow a lot of air in, even in the CG540 non-mesh case. Final points on these case siblings, price is around 4,000 with, with the CG560 mesh variant being a little pricier. No USB-C on the front panel, but at least they come with two USB 3.0 ports. Rocket the Programmer really liked how the back panel I.O. was recessed, giving it a more premium feel and protecting your motherboard from any jostling or bumps that it might receive. Overall, these two cases are the epitome of Deepcool design aesthetic. A solid, serviceable platform that has everything you'd need to start building a decent rig. Not the flashiest, not the most premium, but these cases offer a lot of features that make building in them very straightforward. So you can stop worrying about your build's foundation and actually get to building. And thank you to our top fans na afford na namin tukupuan na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.